Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. In my Happy Holidays, it's a false graph snowman cup. Mm. I have hazelnut coffee, my favorite. If you saw yesterday's haul, this is the hazelnut coffee I got at Ollie's. It's really good. Mm. I'm also wearing my pajamas and that's coffee, not stain. Um, okay, scooching back. Oh, this is gonna bother me. It's coffee, I promise. Okay, oh, and we have Alex. Hi, buddy. Come here, you want to say hi? Come here, the peoples, they want to say hi to you. <laughs> Oh, he said, no, they don't. You're okay. Hey, hey. Okay. Here's his tail. Oh, he growled at me yesterday, Saturday, Friday. He was chewing on his back claws and I needed to clip him. So I basically lean over him and use my body weight to hold him down while I clip him. I'm not hurting him, but he doesn't like it. He was growling. I said, well, sir, I'm sorry, but you're a mess. Okay, let's get started. I have a pretty decent sized haul with some new stuff. Oh, that's gonna bother me. With some new stuff that I found at my Dollar Tree and I even have it separated. Now, I know this is not all brand new, but it is all new to me. I found the Armorall pack of disinfecting wipes kills 99% of bacteria and virus kills COVID-19. Um, it's a good idea to wipe your car down, guys. Steering wheel, console, there are 10 wipes in here. I don't think that's a bad deal for Armor All. And I plan on, as soon as the temperature gets a little warmer, taking my car in and washing it and vacuuming it out and wiping down all the surfaces. It's typically just me and my car, but just in case. So I grabbed one of those. For my not car, I found one of these super cute trash cans. It's supposed to go in your cup holder, right? Okay, so follow me here. I'm a cross stitcher and a knitter. I, okay, I do lots of crafts, but cross stitching and knitting right now. And on my end table, I'm gonna put, put my pieces of thread in here and yarn and things like that trash wise because what happens is I put them in a little like one of those Dollar Tree it looks like a paper cup and the cats knock it over and then there's floss all over my floor so I thought oh I could put it in here and if this knocks over it's fine um then I can always take the lid off another thing I was thinking too in my car is for change so if I find another one I just want the plain black this would be great to throw change in and just save it for when I do my change jars. I don't think I wouldn't use it for trash because I don't, yeah. But you do you. I thought that was a good idea. I found the metal straws. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the whole metal. Um, I have metal straws and the top is silicone and I prefer that, but I wanted to show these to you. And for me, it's worth the dollar just for the bottle or the straw brush. Do you see that? These brushes are fantastic for all your straws, including like water bottles and stuff. I clean all my straws with these. Um, I'm not saying I won't use these straws because I will. I just prefer the ones with the silicone. I don't know that I like metal touching my mouth, but you get four in here, two straight, two bent, eco-friendly, reusable. Go Dollar Tree, right? By the way, I learned this today. If you're gluten-free, don't use a paper straw. Apparently there's gluten in the glue. Who knew? Not I. I grabbed one more of these. Um, so Wellington, he's my senior cat. He's losing weight. He doesn't eat good. I'm trying something new where I'm taking his dry food because, okay, dry food is more carbs and calories. He's not eating the dry food. He sticks with, and he has all his teeth, but he sticks with the wet food. So I'm grinding up in a coffee grinder dry food and adding it to his wet food to bulk it up a little bit. So I'm going to grind a bunch, put it in here. I will tell you if you try this, um, you need to add water and pretty good amount of water. I'm still working out the measurements. 
because it dries up pretty quickly. Like the dry food has, it's dehydrated. So it sucks up the water. And he doesn't like it super dry. So I have to add water, which is also a benefit because it gets him to drink, although he drinks plenty of water. Alex um, also, I add water to their wet food. Anyway, all that to say, I bought a jar. But I want to keep this on the counter with, and I have an old coffee grinder that I cleaned out to use for the cat food. So I'll just keep it up in here. I put like a teaspoon right now, um, just to try to bulk up his wet food to get him a little more calories. So he's not losing weight. I don't even know where he is. I think he's upstairs. Um, I got some Love My Carpet. It's a foaming carpet cleaner. Typically I like the, um, the Renew carpet cleaner, renews it carpet cleaner for pets, but I'm almost out in Wellington. Also, when he does eat dry food, tends to eat it whole and throws it up is a thing. But I needed some of this to have until I get to the store to get the other carpet cleaner and this works fine. It just helps with if I have to clean up messes on my carpet. I put it on there, I let it sit for 30 seconds, I scrub it with a brush, wipe it up and then vacuum it up and it works fine. It's all good. Um, I got a book. Well, it is a display easel, but I actually specifically got this to display a book because I think I'm putting a bookshelf in here. It's a long convoluted story. My life is a mess, but I want to display a book. So I got the easel. Um, also, speaking of, I, in April, oh, my April is looking so good. If everything if everything does what it's supposed to in April, I'm opening this while I talk. Um, I'm supposed to go to Canada for a retreat. And then when I get back the next weekend, I'm going to Cincinnati. My favorite author, J.R. Ward, who writes the Black Dagger Brotherhood books. It's a series of the Empire porn, basically. I mean, it's, it's adult content. <laughs> but there's a good storyline, too. So she, every year when a new book comes out in April, she has a talk in Cincinnati on the book, but it hasn't happened the last couple years. So this year it's on, So I and it's a ticket base. So I got a ticket and I get a signed book, which I have a couple other signed books. I'll have to show you my book collection when I bring it up here from this specific series. So that is on the 9th of April and then Elton John, I'm working that concert on the 12th of April and then Journey on the 30th of April. Come on April, I cannot wait, I'm so excited. Just wanted to say, share. Um, I grabbed another one of these man's, man's, they're calling it a men's toiletry kit. It's a you know travel bag. But let's be truthful, you can use it for anything you want. And most likely in my life, it's gonna hold stuff for my planner when I leave my house and take planner stuff with me. This is great for pens and for markers, and that's probably what it'll get used for, but it's plaid and I love plaid. And I love, I think this is called Black Watch plaid with the green and the blue, and I enjoy it. Don't look at my fingers. They're all cracked, guys. I'm There's bleeding involved today. But anyway, so that's for that. This is trash. Okay, that is all the household stuff. Well, no, it's not. Hold on. I found two of these, two more. If you have not picked these up, don't sleep on them. They are plant stand roller thingies. They don't have to just be for plant stands. You could put a big tub in here and roll it around I tip, I do use them for plants, but what I do, especially if I have plant on carpet or on my wood floor, I put them in here because this, if I water and it runs through or condensation, this doesn't touch my floor. So I use them indoors. I have two big plants over there and I needed, and then I have another, actually I have three big plants in my dining room right now and I'm gonna be transplanting some stuff. So I'm like, well, these go pretty fast, so I grabbed two more to have because I like those, I like those a lot. Um, here, we'll do health and beauty. Health and beauty. I found the um, cotton candy lip scrub, which 
I'm thinking about using this on my hands to scrub off the dry skin. Smells sweet. There is a pink rose. There is a gummy bear, which I have. And then there is this um, cotton candy. And again, I'm dry, but I'm thinking using it to sloth off some of the dry skin on my hands and then putting hand masks on. But we'll see. So I grabbed this one and I have the cotton, I mean the gummy bear one as well. And they work great. And what I do is I wash my face and then I do the lip scrub and then I put like a lip mask or some thick Vaseline even on my lips at night. I bought a humidifier. I'm trying to make my house not so dry. I found one more of the Toms of Maine. And if you see in there, what I kind of enjoy about this soap is it's thinner. It's not like a thick soap that takes forever to rinse because again, dry hands, less time under water. This is almost the consistency of a foaming soap if I had to give it a texture. I mean, it's, mm, it smells good. I love peppermint, guys. I love peppermint. So I grabbed one more peppermint to have. So I have two peppermint and a blood orange. I picked up for the shower some aromatherapy, eucalyptus, and spearmint. These are spa um, shower fizzers. And what it says is put it somewhere that it's not getting direct water. So I'm going to stick it on my little soap thing and see if that makes it go better. The last time I put it on the floor of the shower and it went away really fast. But you can open these because these are for me. You get three in here, which I didn't think was a bad plan. All right. And I think my my mistake is always trying to take it out of this plastic. I'm pretty sure this plastic is bio, like it dissolves. Mmm. That smells good. These are eucalyptus spearmint. That has a really good scent to it. It just says place tablet onto your shower floor or shelf where it gets wet but is not in the main water stream. As it fizzes, the aroma from the essential oil is released into the shower and surrounding bathroom, providing a pure aroma, thera aroma therapy treatment. Sodium bicarbonate, citric acid, sodium sulfate, eucalyptus oil, peppermint oil, fragrance. So I have three. If I like them, I'll get some more. I love eucalyptus and spearmint as well. So I'm going to try this in my morning shower tomorrow. Let's put that there. I found this. This is tea tree oil, salicylic acid, and balancing, balancing, oh, tea tree oil, salicylic acid, balancing face wash. It's a face wash. It smells good. I like tea tree oil, and it's from... Uh, Oil-free, silicone-free, fragrance-free, paraben-free, uh, phthalate-free, sulfate-free. And it says oil control and pore cleansing for blemish-prone skin. So maybe I won't use it because I have dry skin. I don't, I'm not blemish-prone, but I want to try it. Um, I do use a lot of moisturizer, so I feel like this will help. I don't. I don't get a lot of blemishes, so. Or I can give it to Sarah, cause she has um, some oily skin. I picked up a, just a Lady Speed Stick. This is a really good deal, guys. Lady Speed Stick, now this is a smaller one, 1. 1.4 ounce, but the double the size is like $6 at CVS. Mmm, that smells good. This is Wild Frasia. Yum, that smells good. I enjoy Lady Speed Stick. This is what, oh, my ear. This is what I use on the regular and I'm about out. So I grabbed this one. I'll get a larger one when it's on sale, but for now, or for travel, that's a great size. And quite frankly, I mean, how much deodorant do I use every day? Not, I just do a swish, you know? Um, I found this brand. So this is Pick Up and Go. Fruity Facial Mask, Orange Moisturizing. So it's an orange moisturizing mask. And then I got the Pick Up and Go Fruity Facial Cleansing Wipes in Orange Moisturizing. Um, and then I grabbed 
pick up and go fruity facial cleansing wipes in mango, which is nourishing. Um, these are pick up and go brand. These are not a um, green briar. So I don't know that everybody will have the same product. Mm, that smells good, the mango. And I love using, ooh, let's not open them all up. Yeah, it smells good. I just squished it all out of the place. So now I know what I'm using this week on my face. I like to use these at night before I moisturize. So I grabbed these. Um, I don't mind the Bolero, but I hope I like these better. How about that? Plus, if they have some nourishing dry skin, guys, how many times can I say that in a video? And then the last thing I got, and I grabbed two, and I feel like I need to get more. It is Thicker Fuller Hair. I think the brand is Cell Up Plex, Celluplex. Pure Plant Extracts. It's a hair thickening goo. It's like a gel. I used it today, and I really, I really like the body that it gave my hair and the volume. And it does feel like it thickened it up a little bit. So I put a couple pumps of this, and then I put mousse in my hair, and I hair dropped. Blew it dry. That's it. Um, yeah. So I like this a lot. I don't know what, I don't know. Um, what the value of this is or if it's made for Dollar Tree. I don't know, but it works. That's what I know. And it's just says thicker, fuller hair, advanced thickening solutions. Oh, it's got caffeine in it. Thank God. I mean, who doesn't need caffeine in their hair? I wonder if you can see how thick it is. I mean, this stuff is viscous and it's, it worked well. It smells a little chemically, but I've had other hair product that smells chemically, so that doesn't bother me. And I mean, I've had other expensive hair product that it smells chemically, that doesn't bother me. Um, okay, some gifty stuff. I picked up a little heart poppet. This one has one, two, three, four, five poppets and one like bigger one in the center and I thought it was cute for like a little valentine gift and it's heart shaped they had other shapes the brand is orb sensory orb is the brand and I don't know I've seen several different ones at different stores so I got that and then look it's a Norwal and it is so soft guys I'm kind of impressed with this these this box and they went fast there was a norwal i think there was a dinosaur and something else but they're so soft so soft and plush and a decent size especially for a little person and i love the little heart over here on the butt so they i got the norwal obviously and they had a couple others in the box but i liked this one. Oh, they norwal i know there was like a dinosaur looking one but it was like pastelli for Valentine's Day and there might've been another animal. I don't know, this is for a little friend of mine, a little gifty gift, as well as these. Guys, these are Snugadoos. Size one to seven for little people. These are the foxes, they have the grippies on the bottom. They are so soft. They had this, they had sloth. I think they had like a blue and white something or other. Um, the little person these are for is a boy. So I grabbed him these because I thought he would like the foxes. But they're for little people. And they may have had these before. I've just never seen them in the Snuggadoos. I've seen kids socks there, but not in the Snuggadoos. And we all need warm feet. So I grabbed those for a friend's little boy. And then for my brother... Uh, not Sarah's dad, air freshener brother, other brother. Uh, he's a bigger guy. I got him this pink Gildan golf shirt. It's a 5X, 50% cotton, 50% polyester, and it's just a collared shirt. Oh, I thought that was nice for him, you know, just to bum around in if he doesn't want to wear it. Although I don't know why he wouldn't, but I grabbed that for him. Decent quality. Gildan is a good brand of shirt. I was hoping to find some of the long sleeve t-shirts and the mossy oak stuff. And I, I still might, but for now, these are just some gifty gifts that I got for some friends and family. I'm going to be seeing tomorrow. I found the magazines at a store. Now, 
I only grabbed a couple, they had a bunch, but I got Junk Lovers, Upcycle, Anything. Cool containers, wooden crate, redos, one of a kind lighting, whimsical, whimsical fairy gardens, DIY potting shed, fix up tips. This I think is for outdoor, yeah, outdoor, outdoor stuff. So I grabbed that and it's just a small, oh, there's Alex. Just a small little magazine. They're not, they're not thick, but it also gets right to the point. There's not all the advertising. It's, I mean, there's some, but it's not like a magazine full of ads and then two or three things. This is all the meat of the magazine, if you ask me. Then there was Easy DIY Decor and More. Oh, look at that spring wreath. And it just goes through how to make it, what to buy. I mean, it's super easy. Oh, look at that swag. For springtime, I thought this is perfect. Like tonight when I go to bed, I'm gonna put some Vaseline on my hands and I'm gonna go through my magazines, probably Band-Aids on all my fingers. There you go. There's a vision for you. And then vin vintage style DIY, 33 easy makeovers. So, um, yeah, I just thought these were super fun. And for me, they're, they're something I will go through. I know they had like a religious type of magazine. They had plant-based diet. They had um, crock pot meals. They had a ton of magazines. These are the three that appealed to me. So I grabbed them. And I love laying in bed, snuggled up warm and reading a good magazine or a book or something. Speaking of books, that's a good segue. I found a, a new book and I was like, God, this is a big book. It's large print, which quite frankly works for me and my vision. This is called Kingdom of Copper by S.A. Chakraborty. Uh, she's a national best-selling author of the City of Brass. So right now I'm on hold at my library for the City of Brass. It's the book before this one, and then I'll read this one. I love reading, guys. And this book is, um, I don't think these are old because I'm on hold for, I'm on hold at the library for the first book, which doesn't typically happen. I'm trying to see when this, oh, 2019, this book. So probably the other one's 2018 or 17, so they're not, it's not like an old series. So I'm not sure why it's at the Dollar Tree, but um, yeah, large print probably why, but again, helps me. So I grabbed that book. Um, we're, my books are trickling in. Typically there's a lot more books, but I didn't see a lot. Hi. Um, one thing I did want to show you, these are not from the Dollar Tree. I got these at the Target dollar spot, but they were a dollar. And I want to tell you why I like these better than the Dollar Tree little pots is that. These have the holes in the bottom and a little watering side here so that you don't drown your plants. So for the same price, I know they had them in gray too. I would like to get a gray one. I want to do some starters. Hi. Um, so I digress here for a second, but I wanted to show you that you can find dollar deals in a lot of places, but this was in the Target dollar spot and they're the perfect size to do some starter plants, some small plants. So I grabbed those, just wanted to show you. I don't mind the Dollar Tree ones, but I liked those because they had the holes in the bottom that help with watering. Hi, sir, thank you. Okay, we've got some crafty goodness, of course. Oh, what's this? I forgot a bag. Oh, here, this is just a little bit of everything. We'll do this real quick. I found another one of these, so I have two now, of the, um, it's very weird I'm finding these one at a time. Literally my store, again, had one, but I love these. And I'm gonna run this through the dishwasher and then I have two and I can put some taper. It's a taper candle holder, I'm sorry. But if you like this shape and this height, take it, glue one of the glass rounds to it and now you have a pedestal. And if you use this height of the candlestick and the other height, now you've got two separate heights, a little bit different in the bottom, but they're all glass. Perfect decorating, which is my plan, probably, if I had to guess. 
Um, oh, I found this because it's life. It says, all you need is love and a cat. I love this little tiny sign. It's pretty small compared to the bigger ones, but it will fit perfectly like on a shelf in my kitchen with, or maybe in between the plants. I just loved it. And it's the truth. I mean, really, that's all you need in life. Hi, sir, cat. Why are you laying on the plastic? I love plastic bags. Um, I heard some good reviews on these, so I grabbed a couple pair. They are just earbuds. They are, I think they're supposed to be a dupe or a knockoff of Skull Candy. And I will tell you, Skull Candies are my absolute favorite earbuds. I even put them through the washing machine and they still played. I'm trying to open it up to see what they look like on the inside. I love Skull Candy. Um, but I also, like when I go backpacking and camping, Okay, maybe I'm not going to see what these look like. Um, backpacking and camping and all of that. I bring earbuds with me. And I try not to bring my expensive ones because um, I don't want to get them lost. And Skull Candies aren't overly expensive, but they're like 20 The ones I get are about $20 a pair. I'm trying to see how... All right, there we go. So they don't have the little dealy on the side where you can pause and stop and stuff, which I like for when I'm working. And they don't come with different sized. But that fits my ear perfect. And I have pretty small ears. I think these are going to work fine. I need to get an adapter for my iPhone uh, because the iPhone doesn't take this plug. But if the sound quality is decent, I will keep these handy for sure. Um, like I said, when I travel, sometimes I can't sleep at night or I like to listen to an audio book or music to help me fall asleep. And if I'm camping or backpacking, especially you don't want that noise for everybody to hear. But if these were a dollar and they get lost or broken, I don't care. Does that make sense? Like, which is fine with me. So, they don't have the bells and whistles, but I don't know if they work and they have a decent quality because I will tell you, I can't stand Dollar Tree earbuds. I won't waste my money on them, but I saw, I'm putting them in here. Somebody else was saying that they were decent. I also heard that they were Skull Candy, but they're not. They're not as far as I can tell. So let's put this in the trash. Oh, he's laying on the trash, guys. Okay, that was in that bag. So now we're going to the crafty stuff. I found these wall shelves. And I have three of the ones I had last year behind, over on that wall, and I love them. These are wider. They're deeper. Probably as long, maybe not quite, but they are double the depth, which means they're going to hold decent amount which I can tell you if I remember to put at the end I have one of this size hanging on my wall with a plant on it now I believe they hold like three to five pounds you have to go on the website to find out oh yeah I'm not sure how many pounds and you have to thread them yourself that's the other thing so this one comes with one this size here you get two shelves in there so I grab. I didn't realize that until I got home. So I grabbed two of the long and two packs of the small. But I already opened up one and I'm using it on my wall. And I will show you the video at the end if I remember of what it looks like. Just hanging on my wall. And I just set a little pot of plant on it. And it comes with the string and then two of the metal rings to hang it. And I just... Put one piece of string through here, through the ring, and then through here, tied a knot. And one piece of string you cut in half. So one string, there's two strings in here, one for each. And then I did the same thing. I went through here, up through the metal ring, and through here, and then I tied the knots at the bottom, and everything hangs perfect. So I love these. I think they would be fun painted or stained or whatever. Um, I probably will put this one in my bathroom and put some lightweight little decor on it for spring, summer, maybe some fake flowers. I don't know. We'll see. I found this. Speaking of, it is a floral garden plastic wreath board. I have no idea what you're supposed to do with this, but I bought it to try. I'm going to Google it and look up on 
I'm going to try to take this thing off so you can see. I think what it does, I think it uses deco mesh. I'm not a huge fan of the deco mesh. Okay, that's not coming off. Um, I'm not a huge, yeah, there it goes. I'm not a huge fan of the deco mesh, so I probably will try something different. I wanted you to be able to see. So you can feed, I don't know what, through here and make a wreath. We're going to figure it out and we're going to do something, but it was, you know, a box. So my stores are still a dollar. So it is a wreath board, a wreath board. I'm thinking too, you could feed like pipe cleaners through these different holes and and hold things on like a bunch of greenery or something. And it just gives it that structure. I don't know, but that's what I'm going with. Um, okay, we have some DIY stuff or crafty bits. This was in my Valentine stuff, but it's not falling out is what it is. It's not packaged for Valentine's Day, but it's rose gold metallic and cream crinkle. And I already used one bag of this for Sarah's Valentine's Day basket. I love this crinkly stuff, uh, decorative shred. But this one I love particularly because of the rose gold and the metallic mix. I love it. So I grabbed, an, I grabbed two, one for her basket and one to have for any future gifting. Um, I needed some, just some black yarn. I'm making a stocking. I'll have to show you guys what I'm crafting right now. But I literally needed like six stitches of black yarn. It's crazy. So I'm like, I'm not buying expensive yarn. I just grabbed Dollar Tree. It's fine for what I'm knitting. Then I found in the Valentine section, but I will use this year round. It's velour ribbon. Uh, velvet, they're calling it. it. This is not velvet. <laughs> I can tell you that, but it is like that furry velvet. I didn't like the white. The white looked really cheap and I don't do a lot of pink and red, but black, I feel like looks a little classier and I can use it anytime. I don't have to have it just for Valentine's day. And I tend to be reaching towards black at Christmas time, but I'm, I'm drawn to black right now as a base color for things. So I thought, well, let me just grab it. Put it in my drawer. Now you only get one yard. So that's 36, I think 36 inches. Yeah, one yard. So keep that in mind if you want to try to do bows or something. You may need several of that. But I grabbed that just to have. Then I found, I'm not sure why my stores are just now, I'm trying to, open, I got to open this for you. I'm not sure why my stores are just putting out this fabric stuff, but they had, and I'm just assuming they're behind, but they had fall fabric, Christmas fabric, and then I would consider this winter fabric. I need to get this sticker off. I don't consider this Christmas fabric. I consider this winter. But it's gnomes, and it's gnomes with, well, I guess they're holding packages, but with pine and snowflakes. And then like a little bucket of snowballs, little pine trees. The one gnome is holding a package, but I love this. And this baby blue background, maybe that helps you see it a little better. I guess not. There we go. But I like that a lot. And I, I would use this during the winter time. So I grabbed two of those. I always grab two, they're fat quarters, but I never know exactly what I wanna do with them. So I grabbed two of this. And then this is just year round plaid as far as I'm concerned. I love a good plaid. And if I make it to Ireland, this will become a project bag to travel. I always make a project bag and I pack like an airplane project of knitting or something, usually like socks, something easy. And I'd like to make a bag. So I'll make this to go in my overnight bag or my airplane bag because it's a long day. So I always need something to entertain myself with. So I may make like a project bag and then maybe like a pen case or something. I don't know, but it'll get used. I love this plaid. And then I iron on something. So I grabbed these fat quarters because I thought they were fun. I'm kind of excited to see what they come out for at Easter time. Sir, here, go play with that over there. They have buckets of toys. And you know what they want to play with? Twist ties. 
And when I say buckets of toys, I am not lying here. They have buckets of toys. Ooh, I'm talking a lot today. Okay, this one here, it's got a, it's requiring me to take it out of the package. We know I have a love-hate relationship with this stuff, but I'm gonna make this work. I'm sorry, what? Vinyl, guys, this is the Cricut vinyl. What the heck? Uh, please and matching pink. Now all I need is some black and white stripes to make my stripes and floral. Something is happening with these. And I'm gonna say probably stickers or something that I can use that's a very um, not intricate cut for my Cricut and I need to reduce it. But I'm gonna tell you also, this feels thicker than it has the first round. So that's good too, but I am obsessed. Completely obsessed. Okay, let's go. We got one section here left. Did I tell you I bought more Toms? Yes. Okay, food. And that's it. Food. Well, lies. Food and bathroom cleaner. Um, I got this. It's called Juniper Clean with Bleach. If you see them in your store, some have a white cap, some have a red cap, some have a blue cap. I could not find the difference. I read them all, but... Um, yeah, some bleach cleaner. I don't clean a lot with chemicals because of the cats, but let's be honest. I like to clean my toilets with bleach. So there we go. That's important because clean, sanitize, you know, but any surfaces that the cat, and they do not drink out of the toilet. Um, any surfaces that the cats are going to be on, I use Mrs. Myers. Okay, my store came back with the Olive Garden to go. I got these in hopes that I can take them to Canada with me. <laughs> um, and it's just a little three individual packages. Um, I plan on, because on my diet, I plan on eat, you know, having stuff in my room that I can eat just to make life easier. So I thought bag salad. There's no fruit, no high fructose corn syrup, no artificial flavors, gluten-free. Now this is best by may so if it doesn't canada doesn't happen i'll just eat it but i love this olive garden um i got just another powerade water i really like it i'm trying to drink more fluids guys it's not coffee it's not going well but i'm trying um i grabbed two bags of the pork rind i'm not a fan to eat to sit down and eat the brims brand it's just not my preferred uh but i make uh pork rind dust so I put them in my food processor and make like breadcrumbs to make chicken nuggets in my air fryer. So I grabbed two bags of those. I'll grind it all up, put it in my refrigerator, and then when I need it, I have it. So I have that. Um, oh, for Valentine's Day, I'll probably just give that to my brothers. Just the chocolate like they had at Christmas time. And this is, uh, I think this is an import from Germany, if I have to remember. Yeah. I think this is an import of Germany, but it's super cute. Just little chocolates. I'll share that with my family tomorrow because we know I'm not eating it. Um, for me, I got the Chipotle tuna. I think that sounds delicious with some mayo. I could eat it plain, but I'm not sure how hot it's going to be. But it is wild-caught tuna. It's a lean protein. It is gluten-free. Um, it's name brand, and there's a little spoon up here so I can just... That's how I typically eat tuna. That's for me. For my Sarah, she's my vegetarian. I got her one of these packages. It's just vegetarian refried beans. It's a product of Mexico. It does not say vegetarian like ours would say, but when I read the ingredient list, there's no meat. It's made with uh, water, pinto beans. They use canola oil, onion, and salt, and that's it. And it's a product of Mexico. And she likes those. It's a good source of protein as well. One serving is a half a cup, and it has six grams of protein. There is six grams of fat, and there's 18 carbohydrates. Definitely not something I'm going to eat. But my girl will eat it because she likes refried beans. And then I found these, the s'mores and the strawberry banana. She likes oatmeal, so I grabbed her some. And I saw these at Ollie's. $1.29 a box. So I know that they're both getting from the same manufacturers, which I find 
interesting to say the least. But for Sarah, I got them and these are Best Buy, which you know that the Best Buy date is not this expiration, right? But these are good until April. So she'll eat them up. She loved the cereal I sent her and they're both vegetarian so she can have them and it's getting cold. So it's a nice warm breakfast for her. And then for Sarah also, but this is for her Easter basket, I found Sanders. And these are milk chocolate sea salt caramel. And these are best by 23. They'll be gone at Easter, but those are gonna go in her Easter basket for that. And that, my friends, is everything. That was a giant Dollar Tree haul, but I was so excited to find some new stuff. So I hope you enjoy. I won't take up any more of your time and you have a fantastic day. Bye. Oops, sorry. There is that little shelf. And it just hung with a picture hanger. Sorry about the shadows. And I have this little plant on it. And it's living its best life up there. Hope you enjoy.